In this video, I'm going to show you how to consistently bomb match coverage over the top for one play touchdowns or just absolute bombs in this game. If you want to get my entire offensive ebook here, I'm on the Saints playbook. If you want to get my entire ebook on the Saints playbook, make sure that you join the Patreon. That's only 10 bucks to become a member. And if you want to make your match better so that it doesn't get bombed, we actually have an entire defensive ebook devoted to teaching the principles of match coverage and how and how to improve them as well. All right, guys, so like I said, we're going to be taking a look at some match bombs today. We're going to be primarily looking at how to bomb cover four quarters because that is the predominant match uh, concept that you are going to see uh, in this game. So I'm going to start with kind of a, a real simple one out of gun bunch. You don't need any abilities. You don't need anything. What you want to do is if you know that they are running match coverage, you want to come out in the play verticals. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to just basically streak that right side uh, player Harold Carmichael here, and what'll happen is against match coverage, this guy, if you freeform that up into the inside, that should be an over-the-top big play at least, if not flat out a touchdown um, against the defender. Now, what'll happen is a lot of times also another thing that is really important to understand, a lot of people will press their match coverage. If they press their match coverage, it makes match coverage significantly worse um, in this year's game. So if they're not... if Really the best way to run match coverage, and I'll show you a quick pro tip with this, is to back off your outside corners, but press your safety. So I pressed my coverage, and then I backed off my outside coverage. So what you'll see here is this bomb that was cooking match, it really wasn't that great against that. Now, can it still bomb? Yeah, it certainly can. But if we jump into replay, take a look at this. You're going to see that when you back off these corners, for whatever reason, they just react a lot better. And so you see right here, like he's in, he's going to be in the area um, with that with that deep streak. So what are some other ways that we can bomb match coverage? One of the ways that I like to bomb match coverage uh, is essentially going to any player with a corner route and bunch from the slot receiver. Um, we'll just put him on a hot route master corner route. But basically, you're going to streak your tight end. We're going to slant Carmichael. Um, you know, you could do something however you want to do the concept on the back end. Uh, but really, I think it's, you know, pretty simple. Do something like this um, or just a simple drag on the back side. Basically, you're just going to motion him out right before he sets. You're going to snap the ball. And a lot of times what will happen is it'll kind of create this little, like, glitchy separation. Now i got to free form and highball that up and over the top. But I'll show you how this also counters one of the best adjustments in match coverage. So if you're ever getting consistent match coverage, this is one of the best plays in the game for you. So, again, you just kind of snap it just before he sets. And you see right here, see how I'm going to freeform it away from the defender so that the defender can't get there. And now I have another big play in my arsenal. Now, one of the best ways to counter any kind of match bomb is to put a deep half over here on the right. So what you'll see is this deep half is going to play that streak that was uh, a big play previously and still is because you can throw anything in this game. But you see the idea. So how do we mess with that deep half? The best way to mess with the deep half is to create a bench concept here on the right. So maybe it looks like something like this. And you're just going to motion this defender outside and basically run kind of almost like a smash style concept. And what you'll see is you can throw this corner route consistently against a coverage just like that. Now, what about some other formations um, that I like? Really, the other formation that I like out of Saints, and everybody's kind of probably aware that this formation is really good, um, tight offset, tight end. So I'll, a lot of people have kind of been shifting to match coverage concepts um, to take this play away, this PA shot seams play. The problem is if you know what you're doing, what you can do here is this play has bad match coverage kind of struggles in transition. And that's why backing your outside corners off is so helpful because when they're pressed, they struggle with the transition on corner routes. So what you'll see here on the left side is that safety is going to have a false step and you can throw this over the top and absolutely just destroy match coverage over and over and over again. Okay. One of the ways that you can easily adapt your defense to stopping this is just back these guys off again. Why would you want to back the outside corners off? Because now we're going to help them in locomotion. And you see here, he doesn't get that same glitchy separation and the ball almost gets intercepted. So again, this is a great match beater. If you're playing someone and they're running consistent match coverage, like literally just call PA shot seams 
And a lot of times what's going to happen is you're going to get that right there over and over and over, and you're going to give yourself a chance at a big play. But if you're playing defense and somebody's doing this, my recommendation is to come out. You still want to press your safeties. But what I would really recommend is manually backing off your outside corners. And what you'll see now is he might still get glitchy separation, but it's nowhere near the amount of separation he was getting pre previously. And even another thing that you can do to kind of combat this a little bit is you could just simply come out, call your play. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and we're gonna back off our slot corner as well. So you see this backing off of the slot corner, this can sometimes create different locomotion. And sometimes he can even reroute that route so that it's not so open. And then I'll show you one last thing that you can do against this play to make it play a little bit better. So the last thing that you can do against this play if you wanna run match coverage would be to basically call it just like this, but just instead of pressing, go ahead and manually walk these safeties down and then back off those outside corners. So now what you're gonna get here is again, we're helping the transition and this quarter flat defender is going to do a little reroute, kind of see how that reroute gets there. And now this becomes a really, really, really difficult throw. So little things is really what makes a match beater. Now, another quick pro tip um, is if you want to beat match coverage, again, like I said, match coverage struggles in transition. So if I go to cover four show two here, sometimes what will happen, especially if I press this, sometimes what will happen is this route to the circle receiver, you can freeform and highball that up and over, and that can sometimes burn the match coverage. Now, it is also true that let's say, for example, that you know I'm motion the streak out and I'm in any spread set. If I just put a streak out there against match coverage in any spread set, you see how that locomotion, again, that transition, they struggle with that transition and you have a chance to hit that streak over the top. But one simple thing that you can do, again, back off these outside corners, and then now this route combo, as you can see right there, see he did actually get over the top that time, but the KO should be there for you to knock that out. So the biggest thing is how can we limit transition and match coverage to protect ourselves against bombs? And then on the offensive side of the ball, how can we create mismatches in transition to uh, to, to keep them from that, from that uh, reality? So that's the basic idea. Another really good match beater is to take this guy on the left out of PA seams and put him on a, uh, a slant. And you'll see with the slant, again, you see how I get that this tight end route can also bomb match coverage over the middle because that slant will, again, manipulate the transition of the match defenders. If you want to get more match coverage knowledge, make sure that you become a Patreon member. We not only show you how to beat match at the highest level, but we also show you how to run match. Um, and I think match coverage does have a lot of opportunity uh, to help you become a better defensive player if you can truly understand the principles. And so if you want to get access to everything in the Patreon, $10, you can sign up at the link down in the description below, and you'll get access to all of our eBooks and all of the updates to those eBooks.